here's something I have not heard of. The Texas State Aquarium is partnering with Texas A&M University Corpus Christi to conduct a shark survey right here in the coastal bend. Sunrise reporter Victoria Valderrama, she joins us now live in the studio to share the results of the survey and why it was performed in the first place. Victoria, good morning. Good morning, well, Sierra, let me tell you more about it. TAMUCC and the Texas State Aquarium conducted research in the Corpus Christi Bay Area. It's part of their latest efforts to help educate the public about animals and their histories. The survey took place from March through October of this year. Aquarium staff say the survey included getting sharks out of the water as quickly as possible, measuring, collecting DNA samples, and tagging them. So far, spinner sharks, bull sharks, and many other species have been tagged. Uh, we have found that this water is, is heavy with juvenile sharks. So this is a nursery ground where these animals come in uh, and, and they pup in the Corpus Christi Bay area where it's safe, and then, and then the animals migrate out. TAMUCC Associate Professor Dr. David Portnoy says they were able to catch mostly one to two year old sharks where they were found mostly in the middle of the bay and they seem to be using it for the first three years of their life. Portnoy says a shark's habitat is important during this time in their development, so maintaining the gulf is crucial for their survival. Make sure that the bays function the way that they're supposed to and we're not loading them with plastics and other things, right? And then if you catch animals, and you're not going to keep them to eat, um, let them go quickly. Good advice there. And you can find several species of sharks at the aquarium. Plus, each ticket purchased at the aquarium helps fund critical research projects like this one. Reporting in the studio, Victoria Balderrama, Chris Six Sunrise. Sierra, back. Learn something new every day. Thank you so much, Victoria.